Hi all, let's see how to upload single or multiple images in ASP.NET Core or MVC using dropzone.js. Let's see the code. Here I created a sample ASP.NET Core MVC application. When you created a new application, you can see a folder structure like this. Here I'm going to use home controller. You can use any controller which you want. And here, I created upload image view. Uh, I'm going to show you how to upload images in this view. Let's open the view. In this upload image view, I designed this page by simple HTML tags. Here for using drop zone, we have to import drop zone CSS and drop zone JavaScript file. Here I'm using drop zone CDN link. You can also download this file and use the downloaded file link also. I imported CSS file in H section and in end of the body section, I imported drop zone JavaScript CDN link. Mm. Before that, we have to import jQuery file or CDN uh, for using this drop zone. Let's see how to create a div and function for uploading images to the server. Mm. Let's see the div first. Inside this body tag, I added a div with ID content and I made this div as main div. Inside this, I added a row div. Inside that, I added two column divs, one column for uploading images to the server and another column for showing the preview of the uploaded images. Above this div, I added a heading tag for showing the heading to the user. Inside this first column div, I added a div with ID and class name as drop zone uh, for applying the drop zone style to this div and end type as multipart slash form data for making this div as input type and uh, you can also change the ID which you want and below this div, I added a spam tag this another column I added a div with ID preview for showing the preview of the uploaded images and below this I added spam tag for showing server message to the user or developer. Let's see how to create a drop zone function for uploading images to the server. Inside jQuery ready function, create a drop zone function and inside it specify the tag name. Here I am going to upload images inside div tag. So I specify tag name as div along with ID of the tag. And also you can specify the drop down properties inside it. In URL property, I specified the controller name and action method name. I want this action method name will trigger when file is uploading to the server and add remove links as true, uh, upload multiple files as true because I want upload multiple files, parallel uploads as why these properties makes user can upload five files simultaneously, max file size as three, three MB. You can also decrease or increase this value, time out in milliseconds, accepted files are JPEG or PNG. You can also add GIF or anything which you want. Uh, max files are five, user can upload only five files only. I, you can also increase or decrease the default message as please drop or select the image in JPEG format only and upload. Uh, this message will show to the user. I will show when running. Uh, preview container as you have to mention the ID of the tag. Here I want to show the preview inside this div tag. So I mentioned the ID inside it. By using this header property, we can pass client values to the server. I will show when running how to access these values in, in server. After that, these are all even functions. By using this object, we can write an event function. This success event will trigger after uploading files successfully to the server. This removed file event will trigger when file is removing in browser I will show when running uh, this error event function will trigger when something goes wrong uh, for example if the user select more than five files here I mentioned max files are five so only it will accept five files only if I select more than five files that is six or seven it will show the alert message to the user and remove that excess file if the file type is except JPEG or PNG it will show the alert message to the user and this sending event will trigger when file is sending to the server. 
here in this URL property, I specified the controller name and action method name only. If I host this application under any site, I have to mention the application name before this. Let's see how upload multi-stream action method handling uploaded images. In home controller, I created upload multi-stream action method and made this method as HTTP post method. Inside this method, here I am accessing header properties values. Here we are passing header properties values, session and type. By using HTTP context or request or header, I am accessing the property type and session. You can add more properties here. I am not going to use this property, just want to show how to access. Uh, next. And here I am accessing uploaded image files by HTTP context at request at start file by using for each, uh, writing each image files inside this directory, upload folder of root directory and passing JSON result to the client. Here I am passing status and message. You can pass any message which you want. Uh, let's see how to access this message in client side. This success event method will trigger once upload completed or server return the message. Uh, here we are accessing the server message by adding second parameter. Uh, I am passing two values, status and message. Uh, by using the second parameter, access the message name. The message name is message. Let's check by running. Here, in uploader view, the dic default message is displaying. You can also change this message. Let's upload. Here, instead of uploading the file one by one, you can also upload five files simultaneously because here we mentioned parallel upload as five. And the file is uploading. The action method is triggering successfully. The header property is also receiving successfully. Five files uploaded successfully. Let's check the directory. Here we received five files in backend also. Here notice each file having remove link because we added add remove link as true. You can also click this link to remove the file. When removing the file, the removed file event will trigger. Here we have to add the function for remove the file in backend. I didn't write that function. You have to do that. Let's check. Now currently we having four files. I can upload one more file. Now we reach max files. That is, we uploaded five files. If I try to upload one more file, it will show the error message to the user because in error even function, we check the condition. If the file length greater than five, it will show the error message to the user and remove the file which we try to upload. For uploading single image, set upload multiple property as false and remove parallel uploads and the set max files are one and check in error even file length as one if greater than one it will show the error message to the user thank you for watching sample code given in description box if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel thank you